What's going on, everybody? John Stamper here with Dental per, Dental per Cast Production. So excited. We are still at the 2019 Hinman meeting, and we are live at the Georgia Aquarium. It's amazing wow. here. Hinman has put on a great event, and I am very, very excited. So this evening, we're going to be talking to all kinds of people that were here at the event today. And our first interview of the evening, I'm very, very excited. We have Dr. Robert first Peskin, interview. the wow. first one. Wow. And so we were just talking. He was asking about this, and he said, hey, you know what? I spoke at a course today. Lots of people were there, so I was like, We'd love to have you on. So, Dr. Peskin, thanks for coming on. John, thank you so much for having me. This is this is unbelievable. Yes. And, and this is a wonderful way to promote the meeting. It's yes. been a, a great meeting. I, I've been doing lecturing for some time. The people here in Atlanta have been the most hospitable, the nicest to my, my wife and myself. It's really been a wonderful experience. So I want to thank everyone who's involved with the meeting for getting me here and having me participate. It's really been a lot of fun. That's awesome. So, you know, one of the reasons why we wanted to do this is we really wanted to showcase the live events that go on, or the live CE events that go on here. And, yeah. you know, like I said, you had a big group today and we'd love oh to have God. you share what you talked about, but even the interaction of people being there and their, their curiosity to want to learn what you're talking about. Well, this, I did actually two programs today and I'll be doing two more tomorrow. The one I did this morning was on local anesthesia, which on the surface seems to be a real boring right. subject. But we really kind of, you know, got it up a notch or so, and we talked about a lot of different things. Gave an overview so people had some basic knowledge. Right. We talked about buffering, we talked about reversal agents, we talked about you know um, some of the newer local anesthetic agents, some of the newer modalities and, and what we call computer controlled local anesthetic devices available in dentistry. Right. And the response was overwhelming. Yeah. 400 people in the room, lots of questions, lots of, of excitement, and lots of motivation. And uh, I was very pleased with the way everything went. It really was a, a good group, very in inquisitive, very yeah. interested in what was going on. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, right? To, to, to hear you say that, it still shows that even with a topic like that, it just shows the hunger to want to learn what's going on and to get, for dentists to continue to get better, right? And to continue you to know, learn. I think, and I, so I go to continuing education meetings myself. Right. And there are many dental education meetings on implants and surgeries and restorations and what I offer is something it's kind of a throwback right but it's a throwback that is part and parcel of every dentist practice right they need to be able to be the what I call the master of their domain sure Not sure in George Costanza sense but right. you get the idea <laughs> Long <laughs> Island <laughs> <in> the house <laughs> there you go but we really had a, a good turnout yeah. and good questions and it was a very yeah. well received production excellent so how about tomorrow you speak oh, again tomorrow I am uh, be, this afternoon, this, yeah. today, and yeah. tomorrow morning, we're doing two workshops on emergencies, okay. working with a gentleman named Rick Ritt out of Chicago. Great guy, yeah. really good hands-on course. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow afternoon, we'll be talking about nitrous oxide. Again, on the surface, not the most exciting subject, sure. but you know, people need to know how this agent is really still useful in 2019, right. how it works in dental practice, right. how we can utilize it to really reduce anxiety. Sure. Because our patients, they don't want to come to us right. for lots of reasons. Right. And we want to be able to provide whatever mechanism we can to get them there to get good, high quality dentistry done. Absolutely. Well, and I'd have to think that the demand for the dentist to come to that course is because they're probably realizing that if they can help their patients with that, it's going to make a big difference. Well, that's it. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, nitrous oxide has been around for 170 years. Right, right. For a long time. Right. And from our standpoint, we want to make sure that those people who are learning the techniques, understanding how it works, are really on top of their game. Yeah. And they don't put their patients at any risk. Right. And really are able to maximize the return yeah. of their investment so they can get back Absolutely. what they need to get back. Oh, I love that. And like I said, I think that's where a lot of the excitement is. Yeah. And how, how about anything else at the meeting? You guys have been able to kind of, obviously we're here at the aquarium, but anything else you guys have been able to you know what? visit and Atlanta? We, or? My wife had a chance to do some shopping today. She had a lot of fun with that. Sweet. We went last night and we, well, I can't even remember the, the event we went to, but it was a great event that yeah. we went to. And here, this aquarium is just yeah. unbelievable. It's so exciting to see this. And the fact that we have it to ourselves, that's yeah. just remarkable. Yeah, it is, because it's funny. I was actually here about a month ago and it was packed, right? And yeah. so this is this kind of a neat thing. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, last night we were at that at the Mercedes Benz. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That was just great. Yeah. And actually, part of it was blocked off because 
Bruno Mars, whoever he is, you know, he was giving <laughs> a, a concert there, so we were sharing space with, really? with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, this wow. was very cool. That's awesome. Very cool. So real quick before we wrap, I'd love sure. to hear your thoughts on what are you excited about in dentistry? Like, as you look out, you know, over the next however many, so many years, and you've practiced, obviously, done a lot to, to help patients in your community, but talk about what you're excited about. Okay. There's a lot of things I'm excited about. I've been in this, in this game now for 42 years. I graduated dental school in 1977. I just got, uh, celebrated my 42nd anniversary graduating from Stony Brook. First class. It was the first class of that school, and it was a very interesting experience. But I've given back a lot over the years. Yep. Not only have I been involved in practice, I've educated people. Mm -hmm. I've run residency programs in two institutions. Yeah. Very proud of that. Yep. I'm very excited to see young dentists who I have taught become teachers themselves. Yeah. And yeah. that, to me, is the imprint that I feel most proud about. Yeah. This year, um, I've been involved with the ADA for many years. Yep. This year, I'm running for Speaker of the House of Delegates of the ADA. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, <laughs> but this is one of those things where I want to do even more for yeah. our profession yep. and our organization. Yep. Well, you know, I love to hear that because it's interesting. I get the opportunity to speak with a lot of people in dentistry, and I think what gets lost a lot of times is that people don't look at, you, you know, you've been in your practice. There's so many people that go above and beyond yeah. than just working in the practice well, to make the it. profession better. Yeah. So, well, you know. It gave me an opportunity, and I feel an obligation to give something back to sure. it. Absolutely. And that's why I teach. Yeah. That's why I do what I do professionally yeah. and involved organizationally. Gotcha. So I got to ask, so uh, are you a football fan? I am. Okay. And who do you root for? The Jets. The Jets. Okay. We just got a great running back. Well, we got a great running back. We have yeah. a good quarterback. Hopefully that'll be all right. Okay. My real passion is hockey. Okay. All New right. York Islanders fan. All right. All right. I lived through the four Stanley Cups in the 1980s. Okay. I'm a season ticket holder forever. Right. We're going to get a new arena at Belmont Racetrack. Right. Very excited. That's awesome. And hopefully this year we're not going to fall apart as we approach right. the finish line. Right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what's the loss about New York, right? You got a lot of teams to choose Nine from, hopefully. Teams. I'm only yeah. three. Mets. Islanders Jets. Awesome. That's it. Awesome. Well, Dr. Bob, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to meet John, you. Thanks for, for coming on. I was thinking like first interview, first class at Stony Brook. Perfect. Yeah. And this is first class. Yeah. All thank right. Well, you thank so you so much. much. You guys enjoy the aquarium thank and we'll you. talk to you soon. Okay. Great. All right. Bye-bye.